The last video went really well with these fucking guns, dude. So we got to do it again. Except oh, no. this time, we're not official concrete studios. We're official epoxy studios. It sounds catchy. It's really not. We're official two-part epoxy resin studios. There you go. So we're gonna encase guns in epoxy, which means time to make gun things. Gun molds, time to make them. As you right, it's time for the most exciting part of the video, where I make a bunch of boxes. So I just, you know, casually headed down to my Home Depot. Gotta get wood! Gotta get the wood! And not in any kind of rush or anything, you know, just a, just a quick trip. I got inside, located the wood I needed. Target acquired. And then got the fuck out, because screw any kind of social interaction whatsoever. Saw how much I spent and uh, questioned my life choices. And then got back to the workshop, aka my garage, a, a super high tech, and I got to work. There was a lot of precise measurements and cutting, and, and more cutting, and a, a bunch of nailing. Really fast nailing. This is fast as fuck. Uh, then I used some cock, some good old cock. Mm some good cock. I eventually, I had I had a few boxes. I had big boxes. I had small boxes. I had too many boxes, to be honest. But now that I have all these boxes, I need something to put inside them. So we went gun shopping. Look at all these weapons. So many to choose from. Except there's really not that many to choose from because 98% of them are out of my budget. So we got this bad boy. It's a 9mm and it was only two. Holy right now I'm really questioning my life choices. All right, then we got this bad boy. Right, it's a 38 special revolver. The special means that special people like me can use it. Right, this one wasn't cheap either. Right, my finances have really just gone downhill at this point. And uh, that's, that's pretty much when we ran out of money. We gotta test and see if they work real quick, so. All right, this one works. See if this one works. All right, they both work. Let's get the fuck out of here. I don't know where we are right now. This is somebody's field for the cops are called. This video is brought to you by Raycon. Let's say you're on a road trip and your car's a piece of shit and doesn't have a working radio. Well, you could just use your Raycon earbuds or let's say you're riding passenger and the people you're riding with have shit music taste. Just drown it out with your Raycon earbuds. I would demonstrate that, but I have no friends. <laughs> Now, if you're still using wired earbuds, I'm here to tell you that these are gonna change your life. Like, in a good way, not in a bad way, like most things change your life. Because I absolutely hate wires. Can you imagine trying to drive with wires hanging down from your face and shit? Impossible. And if you wanna do anything active, like go out on the lake or eat some ribs, you know, classic active activities, then you're not gonna want a bunch of wires hanging down. But with these Raycon earbuds, you're free to do whatever you want. You can be as active as possible. You can just shoot, shoot. They're not falling out. They're never coming out. I mean, they can come. You can pull them out when you're done. I haven't even told you the best part yet. These bad boys come in at half the price of all other premium wireless earbuds. So you're not going to go broke buying a pair. They're designed by platinum music artists and engineers. So some fancy shit going on up in here. And you can really tell. Being 100% serious, these things, they actually sound really fucking good. As the kids would say, they've got some hella bass, yo. Yeah. <laughs> and the latest model, the Raycon Everyday E25, come in a variety of colors, have six hours of battery life, and have six different sizes to fit your, your big ass fatty ear or your small ass skinny ear. They'll fit anything. So to upgrade to your bug game today, use the link in the description below to get 15% off your order. That's buyraycon.com slash ODS. You'll be helping out the channel so I don't have to live out of my car anymore, and you'll be getting yourself a nice set of earbuds in the process. So that sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Anyways, let's get back to the video back to the back to the fucking video dude why isn't it working now it is time for what you all haven't been waiting for it is time to encase these in epoxy want a beer yeah what kind the beer kind this kind that's chick-fil-a stuff oh what a fridge gun you never seen fridge gun before J jesus christ <laughs> okay well today it is time that we encase these guns in epoxy. I have set up an arrangement of boxes. Box. Two boxes. Yes, that is one of our guns, and this is our other gun. <laughs> We're only going to do these two guns for now. I do want to do the shotgun, but I'm gonna do that tomorrow. This one, we're encasing upside down in about an inch of epoxy, because it's the only way to do it. This one, I've got this little doohickey and we're encasing it right there. At this point, you're probably thinking, man, these guys sure know what they're doing. I will no longer aim this at you because it is now loaded. They sure look pretty professional and smart, but little do you know, we're both idiots. <laughs> 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 Trying to blow the dust out. 
<laughs> I think I got most of it. Epoxy is a lot more uh, um, viscous than concrete, so it can seep into places a lot easier. Locked and loaded. So let's say you decided to put a gun upside down in epoxy. If I get this inside the gun, I'm kind of fucked. Well, basically the whole inside of that gun gets filled with it, and then it hardens and it can't do shit. So uh, there's, there's $200 gone. Good thing is this stuff dries really quick. It only takes... 72 fucking hours. Uh, but at least we have the revolver. You see, in a revolver, it needs to revolve. Oh. This has to spin. Now, I, I knew that. So I was like, I'm gonna bury it just enough so this can spin. That's where the first thing went wrong. The epoxy must have expanded up and got on this. So I attempted to clean it. There's footage of that. I attempted to dremel this out so this could spin. That's when it came to me that there is a little stick that sticks down that has to spin as well and if that stick can't spin then this can't spin which means nothing fucking happens so we got your genius we got a astounds me 300 dollars paperweight <laughs> looks like we gotta go and buy more guns again that's five five hundred dollars that's painful but you know we didn't stop there as we probably should have <laughs> Guns. Got guns. This, it's pink now. Ooh, fabulous. Uh, what? It's fine. It's a used firearm. Our budget, our budget has, has shrunk after the debacle, you know. It goes right back in there. It's all good. Uh, we basically just bought the exact same 9mm as last time, except this one is pink, because, well, why not? Uh, then that's when we ran out of money. So instead of a nice 38 special revolver, uh, we, we bought a, a 22 revolver. It was about 100 bucks. So I'm sure it's a quality firearm. I'm gonna go shoot it and see if it works. You do what? I'm gonna go shoot this and see if it works. It works. You actually just fuck. Okay. What the fuck is wrong? Don't point toward me. Well, I only put one bullet in it. There is, however, a hole in the wall over there. It's in the garage, though. I don't think anyone would mind. We don't have any neighbors on that side, so. One gun, this one, works really well. Yeah, that, that one right here. That one yep. right there. Yep. Good thing I can see through all the chambers. <laughs> Except for the one that matters. Is the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the hammer back? Nah. Back well, it's, it's double action, so oh. hammer doesn't need to be back. Yeah. Now that we know they both work, it's time to mix the, mix the, it's time to mix the epoxy. I'm just gonna tape it on here, basically. Since this isn't a box, am I allowed to aim it at you now? People made fun of our gun safety last time, so I'm making a point this time to not be, oh, fuck, sorry, to not be <laughs> stupid with it. There's a slight barrel obstruction. I made a big old box for this fucker. Slider in there. It is now time to commence the mixing. I love mixing epoxy. It's everything that makes me happy inside. Gotta be 100% precise and accurate, which luckily is something I'm really good at. We're getting there. It's almost to the top. I spilled a little bit. At least we know it's, it's gonna be, we're, we're safe. Like, it's all safe. We're doing this in a nice controlled environment. A lot of smart people involved. This one's gonna take so long to fucking stir. A lot of mistakes have been made on this channel. Hey, it's touching the barrel. We're almost to the barrel obstruction. That's it. Woo, daddy! The final pour. These bad boys have to cure, and it takes 72 hours, so. You ready to see this? I was born ready. I've been working all morning on this. Have you? Actually, you yes. Worked on something? Yes, I worked really hard. No, oh. this is mine. Okay. This is my moment. It's just, it's just, no, I've got it. This is my moment. I don't like the song. I'm gonna put my own music. Are you kidding me? There she is. All three guns. I accidentally cut that with a saw. I found out that a wood saw can cut a gun barrel. And I don't know if that's legal or not. Should I take a gun safety course? Okay, I'm fine, yeah. yeah. That, is, that is them. So now we just have to go to the secret location and shoot them safely. Safely. Shoot them safe, safely.
Hey boys, I'm just gonna take a quick second to ask you guys to check out ODSmerch.com. Uh, we got rid of the Randall plushies because apparently nobody wants them, but now we've got masks. So if you want one of those or a shirt or a hoodie, then go to ODSmerch.com. I'll stop wasting your time now. Goodbye. I love you. It's that time, Tyler. Same time? No, it is time that we blow up these guns. We're gonna start with our good old buddy, the 22. It's gonna do the least amount of damage. I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna set up slow-mo cameras and everything. Can you do that quickly though? Because I want this to be over. Uh, hi, uh, hum, uh, hi, uh, hum, uh, hi, uh, hi, uh, hi, uh, hi, uh, hi. I dropped the bullet. Hope the lawnmower didn't hit that. One in the chamber. I like the new security guard you hired. Yeah, he's he's pretty good at his job, honestly. It's locked and loaded. Now I just have to turn on our high-speed phantom camera. This is the same thing the slow-mo guys use. It's gonna be some lit shit right here. And then we just run out the deck cord to our safe bunker. Sam's demonstrating how we use the bunker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry guys, I got this. I'm really good at running out deck cord. Really good at running up debt too. All right, All right you guys ready? Send it. Three, two, one. Hey! Ooh, boy. <laughs> Alright, it's time to watch this frame by frame. Ooh, you see that? Ooh, look at that. Oh, you could just see it break. Oh, man. What the fuck? <laughs> it blew the epoxy out of the barrel? Yeah. The fuck? So the bullet's somewhere. So this could fire again. I'm gonna get back to safety. Make sure. Oh, fuck. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oof. Look at that dust. Alright, well, now the gun just. its The gun seems to operate. Just fine. Yeah, she works. She works like a gun. Tyler, we still have one gun left. We didn't break this one. Now we've got this one. What? That, now we've got this one. What? Now, now we've got this one. <laughs> I'm going to set this one up upside down. So it looks like we're in Australia, cunt. It's hard to make this this tight enough without making that tight. I, I'm an Eagle Scout, actually. Oh, yeah? So I, I know all the knots. Which troop were you in? Uh, Eagle Troop. 154. One, one, Which patrol were you in? Starboard side. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Woo! Oh, the epoxy went flying. So did the gun. <laughs> All right, this one should be pretty good. Here we go. Super slow-mo. You can see that trigger pulling. Oh, there it is. Look at that nice blur and all that dust. Whew. Man. Hey, we cleared it. We can use this gun. Hey! Uh, well, it doesn't slide back, so we can't use this gun. I was hoping the we're bullet would stay in it. We're just making a bigger projectile. Now that we've got this one, you know what's next? Oh, the shotgun. The shotgun. Fuck. <laughs> Next up, the shotgun. She's a sturdy gun. I think she's gonna hold up just fine. <laughs> Let me put this in our high-tech gun mounting system. <laughs> I'm getting my money's worth out of this gun. What was this gun? Like $80? That's in there. Well, it is kind of pulling the trigger, but I think it's fine, honestly. Hey, it's fine, honestly. Right, yeah, let's get the fuck back. Well, I can't get behind the truck, so I'm just gonna hope I don't die. Three! Two, one. Woo! Woo! Damn, boy! Damn, boy! All right, this is the one we've all been waiting for. Here it comes. Ooh, look, it's just, it's just gone. Jeez. Oh man, isn't that just crazy? There's still pieces falling. Oh, 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 oh shit. That, that, what do we do now? Is that illegal? This is a felony. <laughs> do we have to destroy this now? No, there's no hack. still in the fucking barrel. It could fire again. No. She could fire again. All right, boys. It's time for all of us to die. All that really matters is I get to safety. I did that again. I keep pulling it on accident. Yep, yep, there's there's more dust. That's a lot of dust. We have managed to repair all three firearms. 
<laughs> so I think you can encase your guns in concrete before you beat Halo. No, did I do that again? I'm not even gonna. Did I, did I say that again? You said it again. I said it again. That's kind of funny. No. That wasn't funny the first time either. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, buy the why, merch. Why did you watching? Buy, buy, buy Raycon headphones.